Hey now, Deadheads, Gerhard here again, and I've got something a little bit different today. Now, normally I do vinyl unboxing on this channel, or I'll do vinyl comparisons, you know, comparing the older versions to these newer, usually 50th anniversary releases that the Dead.net, Grateful Dead Productions have been putting out. But I've got something a little bit different today, and it's CDs. Now, these are special CDs, CDs that are very special to me, and I think very special to most Deadheads. These are CDs that you can't buy right now, or at least you can't buy from Grateful Dead Productions. You can't buy them from official sources, and often you can't even buy these new anymore. Uh, but I've got three that I'm really interested in, and, and ones that I had spent a lot of time tracking down, and I want to share them with you because I think they're pretty cool. Uh, if you follow this channel, you probably think that they're pretty cool as well. If you don't subscribe to this channel and you think that they're pretty cool and you want to see some more Grateful Dead stuff, uh, coming up on your on your YouTube homepage, then please subscribe. But no pressure. You know, only if you find this content interesting. Only if you find these CDs interesting. But first, uh, I want to kind of explain why I'm buying Grateful Dead CDs. We live in the streaming era. Uh, I recently switched from Spotify to Apple Music because I love the lossless Apple Music option. So all of the Dick's picks are on there. All the road trips are on there. Uh, Dave's picks are not on there, and so I've been buying and collecting Dave's picks on CDs. And the rest is kind of a mixed bag. You got things like Dozen at the Nick, that famous release, uh, available on streaming platforms, uh, but other things are, are not available. We're seeing more of these released in CD box sets. All of these CD box sets are fairly limited edition, though. When they're gone, they're gone. Mm -hmm. Things like the Fillmore West box set from 1969, we're seeing released one show at a time, you know, four shows. Uh, one show at a time across vinyl box sets. Three of those have been released. I think one of them was released earlier this year, so we're just waiting on one more to go. But I've heard a lot of Deadheads say, and a lot of people in the comments down below have said, I really wish they would release this CD box set for a second run. You know, give it a reissue. It's not available on Spotify, it's not available on streaming, and I want to get my hands on it from an official source. I don't want to steal it. I want, I want to hear it. Um, I don't want to steal it, but I want to hear it. I can't hear it on Apple Music, so give me a place to, to buy it officially, to have that official real release. Uh, other things we haven't really seen on vinyl box sets. And I want to get started with the first one, a very popular one. This one is beloved by posters on the Steve Hoffman AV forums, and that is the Grateful Dead movie soundtrack 5 CD, if I can find focus. 5 CD edition. Now this isn't full shows, this is a selection of some of the best recordings that they did during that Winterland run at the end of 1974 when producing the Grateful Dead movie soundtrack. Uh, of course the soundtrack to that feature-length film that Jerry Garcia spent most of 1975 or a good chunk of 1975 putting together. Uh, this is, you know, the curated selection of some of the best tunes that they played during that run. It's really great. It sounds fantastic. It's, you know, the tail end of that wall of sound era before they went on hiatus. Really fantastic stuff. Uh, big fan of this box set. Would recommend it to anyone if you manage to pick it up. You can usually find them available on eBay with varying prices. Uh, sometimes it's much more expensive. Sometimes it's a little bit cheaper. Keep your eyes open. Keep put, Maybe put an eBay alert so that you get those notifications. And when you see it for a good price, it might be time to pick it up if you're interested in some primo 1974 Dead. And that is the Grateful Dead movie soundtrack across five CDs. Not full shows, but a curated selection of some of the best tunes that they played during that run. And now our second rare CD that the Grateful Dead won't sell you anymore is from 1997. It is called Terrapin Station Live. Very confusing title. Uh, you know, it's not just a live version of Terrapin Station, kind of hard to Google, uh, because, you know, Terrapin Station Live, there's plenty of YouTube videos of live recordings of Terrapin Station. Uh, but this is a limited edition CD of, I think they did 25,000, this is a high number pressing of uh, that 25,000. But this is a live show from 1990. Notably, Phil Lesh's 50th birthday. Perhaps that's why they selected this one as a official selection in 1997. Very strange, you know, really cool packaging, but strange that they picked this release. You know, this was during the Dick's Picks era, and so they had an official archive release series. 
but they released this one separately, and here's a track listing on the back. Pretty good 1990 show, really good sound quality, and a really notable encore, which is a Beatles cover of Revolution. It's really interesting stuff. Hard to find. I was searching for this one for quite some time. I thought I found a cheap copy of it on Amazon. I ordered a used copy, and I got some, I think it was a meditation CD, sent to me in the mail and said, and so of course, you know, Amazon refunded that, but uh, it was a, I thought I had a lead on this CD that I had been looking for for quite some time, and it wasn't it. I couldn't find it. But eventually I did find this on a Goodwill auction. Shopgoodwill.com has auctions, who knew? Uh, competitor to eBay, and they sometimes don't know what kind of treasures they have. I think I paid about 40 or $50 for this. Pretty rare CD, hard to find. I don't know if it's worth 40 or $50, but it's worth 40 or $50 to me. And so let me show you what's inside. You know, we've got these turtle illustrations, almost, almost Ninja Turtles, and then we've got inside our, our three-disc set. And the liner notes on this one are pretty interesting because you get not regular liner notes, but this teeny tiny little poster of this cool Terrapin station with our Terrapins dancing in front of it. So really interesting stuff here. Weird, rare CD. Don't know why it's so hard to find. Don't know why they chose not to put this on streaming platforms. But if you can find one, if you can track one down, perhaps at your local used CD store, used bookstore, or if you're tracking it down on Amazon, eBay, Goodwill auctions, or, or wherever else you scour the internet for used CDs, I would say pick it up. It sounds fantastic. If you like 1990 Grateful Dead, I would say it's definitely uh, recommended for me. Not as urgent that they put this back in production, but I would love for them to put this up on streaming services. And then finally, our last rare Grateful Dead CD isn't even a Grateful Dead CD. It's a pre-Grateful Dead CD. For fans of Primal Dead, this is pre-Primal Dead. This goes way, way back. And this is Mother McCree's Uptown Jug Champions featuring Jerry Garcia, Bob Weir, and, of course, Pigpen, Ron McKernan. And on the back, we've got quite a track list. I am a big fan of their version of Borneo, Really, really good. Of course, the monkey and the engineer is on this. And then a really good early beat it on down the line. So big fan of this one. And this is a one that I actually didn't buy. This is something I inherited from my dad. I remember the day that we went to the record store together, I was picking up a few CDs and he picked this up. Um, and I, you know, I was confused. I knew about the Grateful Dead. I didn't know about Mother McCree's Uptown Jug Champions. And it was something that I really did not appreciate until recently. The, the Jug Band pre-Grateful Dead sound is something that I really love now, but I just, it didn't click with me way, way back in the day. But I'm glad I have this CD now. If we open it up, there are some liner notes here. Very minimal stuff. I think this was a 1990 release, maybe 1999. It was it was definitely from the 90s. You've got some uh, explanation on who Mother McCree's Uptown Jug Champions are, where they were playing, the track list, and some bios for each of the band members. Now I was surprised this one. I you know I always just kind of had it around. I listened to it in the car for a while. I listened to it on my stereo. I ripped it to uh, my my music server. But I see this is going for a lot of money right now on Discogs. Now I, of course would never sell this. This is one of my prized possessions. But I think this is a really tough one to find. So you're going to have to really scour those uh, used CD bins at the record store. Scour eBay. Set up those alerts if you want to track this down. I would recommend it if you can find it. Wouldn't I don't know if I don't know if I would recommend paying a hundred bucks for it, but if you can find this for a good price, pick it up. It's fantastic. Now I'm just like every other deadhead. If there's a show that I want or a release that I really want to hear, I want to hear it as soon as possible. I look for it on Spotify. I look for it on Apple Music. I search around. Maybe I'll even poke around into re-listen and see if I can hear a bootleg stream or an audience tape from there. 
And so I get really frustrated when these releases are not available to easily listen to. You know, we've become so accustomed to easy streaming. You know, we don't have to spend an arm and a leg to collect all 36 editions of Dick's Picks. And so we might all be asking, why can't I get this easily? Now, from a buying physical media standpoint, you know, you got to think about all the warehouse space that holding all of these releases would take. A typical band might have five, ten releases if they're lucky, if they were popular. But we've got 36 Dick's Picks. We've got now 44 Dave's Picks. We've got Road Trips. We've got the Download Series, which obviously never was physical media. Then we've got all these box sets. You know, There's so much Grateful Dead out there that warehousing and keeping available copies for all these is impossible. Now, hopefully, in the future, we'll see more and more of this on streaming platforms. I'm sure Rhino would love to get more streams for Grateful Dead music, uh, rack up those uh, streaming numbers along the way. But unfortunately, we're stuck with what we have, and what we have is, what, 50 Grateful Dead releases? More than that on streaming platforms? So we're, we're already spoiled, but like most Grateful Dead fans, I want more. I'm always on the search for more and more and more. So that's why I collect the records. I collect the CDs. I, I set up all those eBay alerts and, and other auction alerts to find these rare CDs that I want. And that's, you know, the thrill of the hunt. I enjoy that hunt. And you might be wondering, you know, we live in the post-CD era. You've got a CD player back there, but are you really spinning CDs all the time? And so you know, difficult. This is not the only CD player I own. And, you know, as I mentioned in my last video, my stereo tour, I'm a big fan of streaming my own music, streaming from my own music server. And so I use Plex Amp to stream everything from this, uh, this little Mac mini right here. That's the, the brains of the operation that I stream from. Uh, I recommend that to, to anyone. I'm, I'm a big fan. Uh, get, gets my seal of approval. So as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, if you enjoyed this, if you learned something, if you want to see more Grateful Dead records, CDs, or just talk about stereos, please consider subscribing. Really uh, would really appreciate that. Really trying to just grow this community right now. And otherwise, thank you guys very much. I'm, I'm really excited about upcoming releases. We've got the second installment of Bob Weir and the Wolf Brothers in Colorado. We've got Maybe a reissue of that spring 1990 So Glad You Made It box set. I'm hearing it might have gotten pushed back to November or December. We've got maybe a reissue of Fillmore East 1969. I think that's coming on vinyl at the end of the month, a 3LP set. And then, of course, we've got that uh, early 80s Madison Square Garden box set. So excited about that one. More CDs to come. And so maybe we'll have more CDs on this channel sometime soon. But thank you guys so much for joining me today. Have a good one. Peace.